I remember when I got started with videography and I bought my first camera slider. I said to my dad, After this, I don't need any more gear. I'm sorted. And I was wrong. And I knew he didn't believe me anyway. Now this shelf is full of camera gear and there's still loads of things that I'd love to add to it as well, including a second shelf for more gear. As you do more work and you develop new skills, your style changes over time. And naturally, the necessity for more gear increases. And it's the same with this shoulder rig from Polar Pro. I do a lot of handheld stuff, but wasn't really sure where a shoulder rig would fit into my workflow, until they very kindly offered to send me the brand new Pivot. And after using it, I couldn't be without it. It's my new favourite thing. I say that, that's a common phrase on this channel my new favourite thing, but it is. So if you're wondering whether or not you need a shoulder rig, or if you just love all things cameras, then you're in the right place. Because I'm gonna show you why a shoulder rig can improve the look of your videos, why to choose the Pivot over any of the other brands, and tell you why there are only two tiny little improvements that I've made to this model to make it even better than it already is. Polar Pro did kindly send me this shoulder rig and this awesome Peter McKinnon VND filter but they did not pay me to say anything. All the opinions and insights in this video are 100% honest and my own based on my experience with this product so far. So why do you need a shoulder rig? What's the point? How can it benefit you? Well, there are many reasons, but I'm just gonna focus on four key ones at the moment. First of all, you get a more natural, smoother looking handheld type shot. Now that's for many reasons. The balance, the weight distribution, and the fact that there's three points of contact. You've got two handles, and then the point of contact on your body as well. And that could either be your shoulder, or your chest, or your hip. And it also keeps the horizon level. Sometimes if you're just going purely handheld, you think you're level, but actually you're off center. Now, now a proper handheld rig with a cage is a lot better than just using the camera on its own because the weight is going to be a lot better. But if you're looking to take things to the next level with a handheld rig, then a shoulder rig is perfect for this because proper distributed weight stabilizes the sensor better. So you don't have to have any in-body stabilization on. And that's going to add to that more natural looking smooth shots that we like because this is what the big boys are using. And this shot here has no stabilization in camera. It's purely just the stabilization from the shoulder rig and obviously as well not having that ibis switched on means that you're not going to get any of that warping in the corners that you might get from going purely handheld with image stabilization switched on second reason is quite an obvious one really but it helps with fatigue you know what it's like when you're carrying around your camera all day or if you're using a gimbal it gets really heavy with the shoulder rig it takes some of that strain off and i know what you're probably thinking you don't always want the camera this high but you don't have to use it purely as a shoulder rig you can use it against your chest or your hips to get even lower and get different types of points of view you can add accessories to the rails or the handles which means you can customize your camera even further how you want it to be and what suits your style best for example you can use follow focus systems monitors and even map boxes now kind of a bonus reason and I, I don't like to talk about this much because people get annoyed by it and frustrated but it kind of just is the way it is unfortunately something like this makes you look more pro I even feel good having that look at that look how cool that is I look like I'm serious <laughs> but we've got to be careful with this because just having the gear doesn't mean you are good you've got to focus on your skills as well but when you turn up to a job with professional looking gear it looks like to the client that they're getting the money's worth so if you've got some Something like this they're gonna trust you and it's just a strange dynamic that goes on in that world but it's there and we have to be mindful of it I wouldn't say go out and buy one for that reason but it is an extra benefit see how you feel about that polar pro pivot has extra bonuses as well. I've only ever used one other shoulder rig before and it was meant to be one of the best in the game, but I found it really confusing and fiddly to set up. It was like using Meccano. It was very odd, it took ages to set up and I didn't like it. And that probably is what put me off shoulder rigs. But the pivot is completely toolless. It's a latch based system. It's only got a hex key with it to adjust the tension of the latches. Now I think that's amazing because it makes it super quick to change positions and change shooting modes. Anything to make your setup quicker is a bonus in my book because you don't want to be fiddling around with tools and losing things when you're doing a job. The camera can be quickly removed from the main plate so you can go handheld really quickly or you can remove the entire base including the rails so you can go handheld with your matte box still on there. Now I haven't got a rail based matte box this is the one that threads onto the end of your lens and you can even put the whole thing on your tripod and it's also got a riser so you can add a matte box to the rails and then adjust the height if you need. So to begin with, 
This whole shoulder rig is really compact. Look how tiny it packs away. You can even put this into the side of most camera bags where your water bottle bit is and then clamp it in and that's not going anywhere that and you can take it with you wherever you go. And then we've got setup mode which is basically how it is at the moment and you can adjust your camera and all your accessories and your settings before actually picking it up. And I really like this because it's like having a little tabletop to get your camera sorted out before you start filming rather than holding it and getting all your settings right like that. Then we've got on the shoulder. This is where the shoulder pad just rests comfortably on your shoulder like that. You can then extend that shoulder pad so you've got a little bit of extra reach there if you've got a bigger camera set up. Then we can quickly flick it into over the shoulder mode which is my absolute favourite because it gives you an extra point of contact meaning that you're going to get even smoother shots than you would by using this already. I love how you can easily manoeuvre these handles about to whatever angle you want as well to make it more comfortable and then extend the grip a little bit longer so you can aim up a little bit higher if you need to. You can actually unlock this part from the main base and slide the camera forward and backwards to wherever you need it to be and that helps if you haven't got a viewfinder or a monitor so you can actually get the LCD screen of your camera a little bit further away so you can see what you're doing and I'm actually using an external monitor on a small rig clamp to get that monitor a little bit further away from me and at the side rather than on the top handle like I normally would have it on a handheld rig. Sorry about the traffic by the way. So this thing is so modular and I love how they've thought about every little thing that creators need and how they need to use gear. And then for me, every time Polar Pro bring out a new product, I want it and that's because their quality and attention to detail is second to none. Just little things like these hidden rosettes you've got in the handles. Just that little detail makes it look more professional and clean looking. You've also got threads in the arms at the bottom here for extra accessories. And then I love this. They've got additional backup screws in the riser plate. So if you need to change your screws on your base plate, you don't have to mess around in your bag where they're loose. They've just got two stored in that riser plate and I love that. So there's only two tiny little adjustments that I would like to see in the next version of this, but neither of these would stop me buying one of these in the first place. I can get by no problem with the way this is. But if you're using a manual focus wheel like this on the right hand side or the left hand side, it would be great if these handles swiveled into the center so that the weight is distributed more evenly. Because at the moment I'm focusing with this hand here and I've got to bear the weight with this left hand. And the second thing is, you can change the angle of these grips here, which is fantastic. But sometimes, if you've got it at this angle, it's not the best grip. It'd be nice if this could somehow be angled a different way and you could move that to whichever angle you want, as well as this bit being straight, if that makes sense. Other than those two things, this is awesome. So who is a shoulder rig for? Is it for you? I always kind of thought it was for people that did interviews and documentaries or live TV. I didn't think as a YouTuber or filmmaker that I'd ever need one. But actually, thinking about the benefits that I talked about earlier, having that more natural looking smooth shot definitely adds something to the production level of your videos. <laughs> Normal person, the muggles, might not even recognise that that's happening. But when you take so much pride over your work and you want it to look the best, it definitely adds something to the feel of your videos and I think that's worth it alone to be honest so if you do a lot of handheld stuff currently or you want to venture into it then I think this is definitely a worthwhile step up now if you want to know more about the components that I've used on the handheld rig check this video out here thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one have a great week